Edward is the uh, kind of reluctant vampire. He's a 17-year-old boy who was turned into a vampire 100 and something years ago. <laughs> and uh, he's kind of lost his way in the world, has no idea what his, the point of his existence is. And when he meets this young girl called Bella Swan, who uh, he grows very fond of, and she uh, opens him up to the world again, and she makes him feel like there's something worth living for. The end of Twilight <clears throat> obviously finishes where on a kind of light note where, you know, it's, just, it's a kind of happy ending, Bella and Edward are together and it seems like they've they've vanquished their uh, their enemies and the problems they were encountering in it. Um, but then the actual reality of what their relationship is sets in in, in New Moon where there are just a plethora of enemies and a plethora of difficulties uh, uh, coming out of it. Um, and New Moon is sort of dealing with that and also dealing with the progression of their relationship and dealing with commitment to each other as well as uh, just the initial kind of first love uh, story. It's Bella's 18th birthday and everything, uh, she goes around to the Cullen's house and it's uh, it's kind of all very, it's a sort of ideal birthday party in, 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 in the minds of everyone involved and uh, it's all beautifully decorated and everything and everyone's very happy and Edward's looking at her thinking, you know, she's, she can become part of my family and my life and maybe this can work out um, the way he wants it to and of course it kind of just inevitably falls to pieces and and Edward has to reassess everything about the relationship and, and his life and um, with kind of tragic consequences. The Volturi are kind of, I guess, the oldest known band of vampires, coven of vampires in the Twilight universe. They, they kind of, I guess they become the sort of vampire lords or the sort of council. They, they dictate the the rules the, 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 of how vampires need to behave in the world and they enforce them as well so they're much older and more powerful than, than any of the vampires anyone's seen in, in the rest of the series I really really like Chris I mean he's he's very calm and very uh, he's very very focused and kind of you, you know he, 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 you never feel pressure, but you know the the every, the ball's always rolling. Everything everything is uh, nothing ever seems held up. Um, no, it's been a real pleasure working with him here. In very really simple terms, Edward's much more of a warrior, not a warrior, but a warrior, <laughs> and uh, and and Jacob isn't, <laughs> and, like, and that's and that's kind of that's the biggest difference between them. <laughs> It's nice. I mean, I, uh, none of, I mean, there's been crowds and stuff in, uh, when we've been shooting before, but I mean, nothing like the kind of two or three thousand people or over, um, anywhere over the last couple of days. Um, and strange, it's like doing a massive theatre performance in little ten-second jolts, <laughs> and everybody applauded afterwards and stuff, which is quite. And I, I kind of, yeah, it, was, it was very appreciated. <laughs> a lot of New Moon is about him having to learn a lesson, I guess, pretty much the hard way, that he can't live without Bella. Um, and in trying to do so, he ruins his own kind of meager existence and uh, and hers as well, which he never thought was going to happen. It's on much more of a grand scale than anything we did in, in Twilight. Um, so it's interesting, it's, so, it's all kind of uh, so much more choreographed and stuff, so yeah, it might be, it's, it's very, very operatic.